is cooking up a storm with the Montreal steak seasoning. Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Uh, <coughs> <coughs> oh jeez, that was a lot of pepper. Oh TikTok, the only app I trust to bring me the latest and greatest fried egg recipes. If this is your first time ever seeing my channel, you might be confused. You see, boys and girls, on the August the Duck channel, we like to find, um, let's say, uh, less than favorable chefs on TikTok, and we like to watch them cook. Now, we've seen countless TikTok chefs make countless TikTok recipes that should be illegal, but as I've said before, most of the time, the people making these recipes are, like, in on it. They know that they're making something that nobody is ever going to eat, but every now and then, the TikTok cooking gods will reach down and bless me, showing me an account that's not bad on purpose, that's not meant to be a commercial rage bait moneymaker, an account that is just good old fashioned kitchen ignorance. And ladies and gentlemen, today is one of those days. See page 620, a TikTok account I came across where it is nothing but cooking that makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. And I don't really mean that sarcastically either. There are a few TikToks we're gonna watch today that seem to defy the laws of physics. We need like a cooking scientist to review these videos because something funky is going on, okay? You'll see. Let's begin. Please subscribe. Hey guys, cooking up a storm with some Montreal steak seasoning. Hip hip hooray, hip hip hooray. <laughs> oh no, I'm about to sneeze again from the pepper. Here we go. <coughs> Alrighty, so uh, this is the video that introduced me to C-Page. As you can see, there's a lot going on here. Don't know if you guys have noticed this, but the first time I watched this, and, you know, maybe the second, third, and fourth time I watched it as well, I thought she was just, like, frying cheese in a pan. It took me multiple watches to notice these eggs that have managed to camouflage themselves into this cheese, and we're already seeing some of those laws of physics being broken here. You can hear cooking, you can hear sizzling, but these eggs... Eggs are, are not going anywhere, neither is the cheese. What's going on here? Also, I mean, we've got to address the sneeze. This is being recorded with a phone, and you're usually looking in the direction that you're recording. 100% that sneeze went right into these eggs. <coughs> oh, jeez, that was a lot of pepper. <coughs> oh god, the pepper, the pepper. Oh man, gotta love that pepper. Oh god, I actually don't don't know if I do love the pepper after seeing what it's done to these eggs. This is no longer a nice breakfast. This is a petri dish, my friend. Cheesy eggs with Montreal steak seasoning and pepper, guys. Yum, yum. So that TikTok was about a minute long, and if you've ever cooked eggs before, then you would know that an egg is going to change in appearance after being cooked for a minute. What is going on here? Yep, I'm about to sneeze from all the pepper. When will I ever learn? Oh, when will when, when will I learn? Do you guys think this might be a joke? Look, I know people from all walks of life, but I don't know anybody who would willingly sneeze into their own food. I mean, I guess it's better than sneezing into other people's food, but I mean, so are most things. I can't imagine recording myself on multiple occasions sneezing into my own food and then uploading it onto the internet. Don't you love the way the camera shakes every time I sneeze? <laughs> It's because we're having cheesy eggs this morning. Three cheesy eggs with two pieces of sliced cheese. Of course, cooking up a storm with Montreal steak seasoning and plenty of pepper. Gotta have tons of pepper, guys. Stay tuned for the finished results. She says this in a lot of her videos, yet she never shows any follow-up for any of the TikToks. Also, this Montreal steak seasoning company should really look into sponsoring this woman. I mean, the publicity is great. Though, I must say once more, I I'm hearing cooking. Not seeing it, though. Hey, guys. Bet you would never see thought you'd see the day when I'd attempt to cook a whole brisket. Yes, guys, it's awesome. It's ex extremely expensive, cost me $25 in food stamps. But we're going to make a nice, juicy, juicy, full of flavor, seasoned brisket sometime this week. I got the avocados. Wow, and they said TikTok isn't entertaining. If you ask me to name the first 100 ingredients that came to mind when I thought about cooking a brisket, avocados would not be on that list, I can tell you that much for certain. It's green peppers, onions, the mushrooms, 
and the olives to make the stir fry video tonight. What is happening? We've got an avocado olive brisket stir fry coming up. Talk about innovation, my god. You ask Gordon Ramsay to produce this level of creativity, he's gonna be stumped. I got tuna for my dog because my dog has tuna Tuesdays. One of my favorite soups of all time. Oh, f I got the wrong soup. God. It's, this is supposed to be gumbo with sausage. That's it. I'm done. I'm canceling all of my streaming service subscriptions. This is the only entertainment I need. Now look, Paige, to be fair, creamy tomato with penne it is almost, almost the same thing as sausage gumbo. I really wouldn't beat yourself up too much about it. It's a mistake any of us could make. To be fair though, I did just look up the gumbo from this brand, and if you were just going off pictures in a rush or something, I can see the mistake. I absolutely hate tomato sauce. Oh, I hope I get two cans of that oh thank god this is what that other can was supposed to be also awesome and some yummy yummy coffee creamer and you guys want an update on the lizard look how big it is like i said it's gonna be as big as a container oh my god there is so much information in this single tiktok i might have to take a break first you tell me about the elusive olive avocado brisket you bring us tragedy in the gumbo incident of 2023 and now there's a lizard where has this page been my entire life okay guys okay guys yes it's in the old messed up pan because the new pan is actually in the dishwasher right now i i, I timed it wrong but we have this awesome, awesome homemade stir fry. It's going to be absolutely f***ing delicious and awesome. It's got onions, green peppers, olives, mushrooms, butter, Montreal steak seasoning, and plenty of pepper. Oh, thank God, Paige, you had me worried for a second. I really thought you forgot the Montreal steak seasoning, but you know what? I should have known better. Gotta, gotta ask, is olives in stir-fry a thing literally anywhere on the entire planet? Surely not, right? This is a Paige original creation? Yeah, that's what I thought. And I have company coming over today, so I've set out four bowls. Because my best friend, Pat, said he's bringing his cousin over. And who knows how many people are really coming over, so I'm prepared. You know what, Paige, I think that's very thoughtful. You would cook for your friends. Um, something, something not so thoughtful is that spoon right there. That should not be given to anybody, okay? Cooking up a storm with some Montreal steak seasoning, the breakfast of champions. Uh, we got the hamburger, it's completely frozen, so hopefully it's, it's... Somewhat not undifficult to cook. All right, hold on, pause. Um, somewhat not undifficult to cook. What does that actually mean? All right, I've had to type this out to look at it. Okay, so somewhat not difficult to cook would be not difficult to cook, but somewhat not undifficult to cook would mean you want it to be difficult to cook. Paige, you are truly full of mystery. Montreal steak seasoning and pepper. I was gonna fry this avocado, guys, but in the process of trying to get the peel off, I realized that even with a knife, a fork, and a spoon, I can't get the avocado meat out of the avocado because it's so not ripe and hard. Paige, um, do you by chance have your own avocado tree or something? I don't think I've ever bought an avocado from the store that was so unripened that I couldn't even spoon it out. Are we sure Paige is of this universe? So I won't be frying the avocado even though I really wanted to. And here's the rest of the hamburger. Stay tuned for the finished video, guys. Is that cottage cheese in a salad mix on a burger bun? I really think I've seen it all at this point, guys. Well, guys, I'm not gonna lie. That is the most fun I've had making a video in quite some time. I didn't really watch every second of these TikToks before deciding to make this video, so there was some genuine shocking moments going on here. When I saw that lizard, my day was made. I don't know about you guys, but I am already ready for Paige's next cooking adventure. Mark my words, we will be back here. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.